I don't want to show the non-authentic self. I think that I struggled with that. I was like, am I just showing the most beautiful and pretty parts of my life? But, you know, I think I learned that I want to keep some things private and some things public, right? And anyone who is watching my videos, um, they should know that, okay, this girl has more sides to her than just, you know, uh, just minimalism and slow living. <laughs> like, like anybody, like anybody who puts themselves out there, there's a persona and also there's like the real them when they're hanging out with their friends or when they're, you know, talking to their uh, parents or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's the quirky side, there's the weird side, there's the funny, humorous side. And I definitely have that too. You know, I'm not always calm. Um, I'm, I'm not always, I don't know, what what are some things that people assume, like quiet and... Uh, you uh, seem very zen. Like, yeah. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. Everything is slow and beautiful all the time. Oh, man. I wish. I wish, <laughs> right? But like, is that really realistic for anybody? I am definitely um, a goofball with my husband, you know, playful with my dogs. And I don't know. I'm, I'm, I feel like there's so much that people don't know and I'm okay that they don't know. And it's fun to like show parts of it with you when I'm talking with you. I'm sure, you know, it's different than like my videos or whatnot. And I like to keep it that way. Yeah, I think this conversation is so interesting because first of all, it reminds people who, for example, if they watch your channel, it reminds people that we don't, you can't know all sides of a person just by seeing who what they show online. That's a lesson for all of us. Like don't assume someone's life based on what they show. Um, it's also a conversation of like what to show and what not to show, what to keep private. I actually think I, I'm a pretty private person too. Like, although I put, I've been doing YouTube for so many years, there's so much of my life that I still keep private it's parts of my personality that I don't get to show on my videos. It's not like I'm trying to hide it, but it's just that it, you know, the opportunity doesn't happen. Right. You're really good at doing this too. Um, like being private and being inauthentic is completely different things like you're being you're able to be very vulnerable and authentic on camera um without showing all the sides of you without oversharing and I think that's really important and a lesson that uh, I learned <laughs> you know yeah, I tried yeah. to start like a vlog channel like my second channel because I thought that I had to show that okay my life is not perfect but nobody needs that. You know, they, you know, people don't need to know that, um, that there's all sides that should be assumed because social media is, you know, we all know it's just the highlight reel or it's a production or it's a whatever. And you, you don't need to, you don't owe anything to anyone, you know? Yeah. I love that, that, that line, you don't owe anything to anyone. I think sometimes we feel like, oh, we have to show every, like either show too much or show, not enough. And it's, it's all, it, it was confusing, at least for me to navigate for a while. I'm like, for I, sure. Me too. Right? I, I still find <laughs> like, that confusing. Like how like, much do I reveal and how much don't I reveal? And even if you don't post, like, don't feel guilty for not, for not, because yeah, almost goes back to what you were saying. Like any, if the baseline is zero, anything on top is, is a win. Like it, you showing anything of your life is a win. Like you don't have to show everything. Yeah. Like it's, it's different too. It's like, I'm super grateful for all the people that, that support me and follow me. Um, you know, but I don't feel like I owe anything to them. It's different, you know, like I can appreciate you and still feel like, you know, they have my support no matter what. And if I feel like, oh, I, I don't feel comfortable sharing this part of my life. I just, I would hope that they would understand that because they know like I'm a person with complications and stresses and, you know, problems in my, in my real life. So that's just my take on it. No, I like it. It's a more, it's, it's a healthier and mature way to look at this. Cause if you, for example, look at like celebrities or the K-pop industry, like the way people expect things from famous yeah. people is so, it's, a, it's another Unrealistic. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. That's. That's hard. I feel like that's not yeah. sustainable for me yeah. anyways. No. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 